Good morning everybody, and um, we've got a much better day today as you can see, um, so welcome to today's uh, video. A um, couple of you have actually noticed this thing behind me, <laughs> yes I know. Um, this, uh, the, the same house was built several years ago and um, the electrics in this house weren't done by me, I, I didn't do them. Um, Nothing against the electrician that, that did them. It's not, not his fault at all, okay? I just want to make that very clear. Um, but this is a log cabin. It may not, you may not realise it from, from the angle that I'm showing, but these are, um, it's not a shiplap building. It's a, it's a log cabin. Um, and there are very specific ways of actually wiring a log cabin. Um, and unfortunately, doing it that way is not the way you're supposed to do it. As you can see, each of these logs has expanded or contracted over the years and it's, that's it was straight in fact I don't you probably can't see it but there is a pencil line a straight pencil line where it was and over the years it's warped and it's warped the cable at some point I'll find some time to rewire this place as it's supposed to be done as a log cabin um, and I'll video that um, there aren't many videos on log cabins uh, on how to wire them uh, properly um, but you're not allowed you're not supposed to connect individual logs together because they warp at different rates so there's ways of doing it specifically and in doing that you kind of do go against the regulations but in this particular case you don't have a choice okay you don't have a choice anyway we'll come to that on another video not this one another thing about this video is that it's been shot um, eight months to the day since I started this channel um, and coincidentally, I've hit the 2,000 watch hours today. So I'm dead pleased and I'm really grateful to everyone who's been watching the channel. When I started this, I had no idea whether it was going to be something people wanted to watch, but it obviously is. So I'm really grateful and thank you. Um, there'll be, I'm hoping to really put together some interesting content over the, over the especially over the next few days up to the run up to Christmas. Um, and hopefully next year I'll be better able to do more work now that this thumb is getting better um, and we'll get some really interesting stuff going um, so anyway thank you very much um, and uh, please keep watching so I've been very lucky with this particular client, client is that allowed me to do a bit of experimentation uh, with the undercovered lights you can get pre-built lights to go under cupboards and you know done deal but in this particular case um, because of the way the cupboards are done um, I thought actually doing them uh, as a bespoke system would have been uh, a better way to do it. Now you will know, um, notice that things didn't go according to plan, really. Um, and But I think they were really quite effective and I'm going to put a picture here of the finished result. Um, and I think it worked really well. Um, so um, I hope, it's, uh, I hope this one is a bit interesting to, to everybody. I know there'll be some people some will probably say that, why didn't I just go down the route of buying them off the shelf? Yeah, fair enough, I could have done it probably. But um, given I was given the opportunity to do a bit of experimentation, um, I thought, well, why not? Let's have a go. And to be honest with you, I probably would do this in the future. Uh, everything I've learned from doing this, doing it this way, I'm going, I will apply to, to other clients in the future. Um, it worked really, really well in the end, um, and uh, is actually probably not much slower than actually putting up just bespoke lights. Anyway, I hope people enjoy this video. So let's get on with it. Okay, we're going to run um, <coughs> the under cabinet lights. So what we've got is we've got the 1.5 mil cable here that's hooked up in the ceiling. Uh, it's not live yet. We'll do that in a minute. <clears throat> and we have all this LED equipment from LED space. So we've got a RF um, LED driver, that's a 75 watt version. So you've got the 1.5 cable going into there. Now at the other side, it, whoopsie daisy, that can all be hooked up to single colour, bi colour, and RGB. If it's RGB it's one channel, if it's single colour it's four channels, so we can run four separate circuits off that if we need to. We are going to run two in fact, we're going to run one on this corner unit here and then a second circuit will be there which leaves us two. 
<coughs> if we want to run any other circuits at a later date, which is fine. Uh, so we've also got whoop, 24 volt uh, LED strip. There's three meters of that. We've got um, this. You might be able to see on the label on the label on that cable. It's two by 0.75 mil flat cable to connect it all up. And somewhere we've actually got oh, a wireless, sorry, an RF. Uh, dimmer switch which just sits on the tabletop and it's powered by a ooh, lost it, there it is. Uh, just powered by a standard um, watch or um, smoke alarm type battery that's in the back of that uh, so what we're going to do at the moment we're going to test out make sure this LED strip is all working um, in a usual Christmas like flash fashion make sure no, no dead LED spots on it so we'll hook that up into the driver and the driver will sit on top of the cabinets run down the back of the cabinets with the white cable um, hook them up we've actually got <laughs> I've lost them here we are we've got these clips which one end clips onto the LED strip one end clips onto that white cable so we've got those to make it nice and easy uh, and up in the loft I'm going to hook up that twin and earth uh, into the main circuit using those quick connects which I've got. Okay, I've put down some and I've lost them. I'll put them down somewhere. They're already somewhere. There they are. Uh, there should be one left in here. Yep, there it is. So we'll hook that up um, in the loft and that'll be all we'll liven that up and then we'll pair that dimmer switch to this driver and in here just about see it's right down the back there there's the button to match it with um, so we'll do that so yeah so that's what make is that that's a sky dance um, you can just about see the model number on there um, so yes yeah, so we'll hook that all up get it tested um, the only minimum extrusions are coming this morning um, in two two meter lengths with all the end caps and stuff so we'll get those in and then we'll cut them to length um, and then basically this strip um, sticks inside those extrusions um, and then there's covers to go on top of it uh, uh, covers diffusers to go on the top which hopefully if the advertising holds up and what I've seen will mean it won't be it won't look like there's individual LEDs it look like just one solid light uh, so we'll get on with that we'll get these cables put down the back of there and stripped and we'll see if it all works uh, what we've got here we've got all these look at those clamps out of the way. Got this clamp which we're going to put on oh just a joke that's been done in there oops there we go that's in there uh, we're using one um, channel at the moment the, the matching switches over there so we're getting that down on there there um, yeah uh, the only downside with this was that the clamping bar is missing there for that cable but with that closed um, and being that this is a 24 volt cable I'm not overly concerned about that to be honest that's as you see that lid's going to close down quite tightly on that anyway so anyway um, just a thing um, so this needs to be clamped on so it works that way around so that clamps onto the LED strip that end clamps onto the cable and if you can just about see if this will focus it's like uh, connecting data cables so those you don't you need to strip the outer sheath obviously but you don't need to strip the inner sheath cables and then it all clamps down so that bit clamps down if I just bring the LED strip up I'm testing the LED strips and nothing's been cut to length yet so I'm just testing to make sure everything works so you can see you cut all those bits there um, and then it clamps onto those so we'll get that all clamped up uh, then that bit's done down here and then I'll go up into the loft and we'll um, get the power off to the lighting circuit and get this uh, clamped in and then matched up and then hopefully it all works and if it all works great then we can start getting the cables to the right length <clears throat> okay, so here we are back in the loft, so that's the cable going down to the cupboard lights, cabinet lights rather, sorry. 
Um, here's the um, one we did the other day. I'll just cut into the whoops, lighting circuit there. That's like that. It's going down to the well. That's going down to the lounge light and then back to the board. So we've just intercepted that, and we're going to hook up that into those three. Um, I'm just trying to get the cabinet lights to, up to working at the moment, so we might have to increase the length of that to give us the more space that we need. So, um, yeah, but well, let's get these powered up and it's, then, we, then we can tidy up up here in a minute. <coughs> right, so we're all hooked up now. Um, as you can see, we've got a nice red light on the transformer all the way down to the cabling so we can test out the lights. Um, this connector is, is is nice but it is a bit of a faff. You have to make sure you clamp down this side with a pair of pliers to make sure you break through the insulation. Um, the first time we tried this we didn't and it, nothing happened. Um, so we tested all the, to make sure we had 24 volts coming through there. And uh, this actually paired up successfully, which it had. So to pair it, um, you have to press that button there and that will flash and then you press this button and it will pair up which it has and as you can see we're all lit up this is a dimmable control panel you can either rotate it to dim up or down or you can press and hold it goes up press and hold again it goes down press and hold let's bring it up a bit short press and short press it all works this is a nice little desktop unit that can go anywhere it's all rf controlled into this uh, driver um, as you can see we've got another this can have a four channel so we can actually put in another three cables into there into this particular transform which is 75 watts so it's more than more than enough for what we need <coughs> okay one lucky thing about this we've been able to take the covers off so we've been able to route the cable nicely along here with these sticky strips and sticky um, clips which are really nice and it's come really nice and flush you can see these are the support beams for the cupboards and they're below that level so the cupboards are going up really nice so we've had to run the cable all the way down here and out to where it will actually connect up with the lights so a little bit of an advantage there otherwise we'll just have to have dropped them down beyond the cupboards but uh, no I like that um, so we've got the cable here which is coming down no, no, it's not in focus. There we go. So we've got the cable here coming down from the loft. Uh, as you can see, it's over there. Uh, it's not plugged in yet, so it's not live. Um, now, this isn't quite long enough um, to go with what we want to do. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stick that in that uh, Wago box. So, stick it in there. We've just got the connectors on, and I've bought some new cable there which we're going to use to come down the side of the cabinet not come down um down the side of the cabinet so not come down that side i think come down the ladder and we'll do blue peter style we've actually got the first of the tracks installed just to make sure it's all in in place so this comes in two or three meter lengths uh, from Ultra, the, the um, profiles come from Ultra LED um, and all the rest of, uh, I will remember the manufacturer of the other um, equipment that actually come that you saw the other week, the other day. Uh, but uh, we, I've had to go with profiles um, from Ultra LED to, to, make, this, to make this all work. Um, all over the place with the video this time. Um, so I will go through how that's all been mounted up um, when we do the other cupboards. Um, I am not going to use the quick connects, um, the clip connects for this. Um, I think I'm going to I'm going to directly solder the LED strip inside. So I'll just show you what we're doing over here. So here. Obviously, you'll strip that cable back. That's an end piece to one of these profiles. And we've got two cables coming through, and there's some heat shrink over the top. 
So what I'm going to do is heat shrink that down there, make it nice and short as possible so it just protects the wires so there's no protruding wires out the side. Clip these back and then I'm going to um, solder these directly to the LED strip inside. I just think it's going to look better. I think we can get the LED strip right to the edges then rather than using whoops, those. Um, it was a good idea but I just don't think it's going to work so as I say I'm going to solder those into place um, so that'll be fine. As you can see we've got it all connected. That's the strip which I'm going to be using over there. So that's all connected into that one at the moment and because I've got the lighting circuit working. It's 24 volts but uh, just to be safe. Uh, right so hook up those cables up there, run them down the um, Hook the cables up there, run them down behind the cupboard, and I'll put them into that so it's all done, and then we'll get it soldered up later. Okay, so there we are, that's all hooked in. A couple of way go connectors in there, and I've uh, ferruled that end of the cable because it was stranded, so I've put some ferrules on that 0.75 ferrules. That cable's now running down there and got the right length and runs into the end of that light fitting so that bit's done okay so i'll just take you through this this is what you get from uh ultra led uh based out of trafford so you get two meter lengths of this uh aluminium this one is one of their smaller sizes um it's uh reasonably easy to cut i've got a Engineering hacksaw, there we go. Um, so you get, you will get that. You will then get um, they do various tops. Now this is one of their um, pearl ones. Uh, you can get solid clear ones, all different types from from them. And again, that's cut and then put the place on there. Uh, and then you can also buy uh, the clips that are attached to the base of the cabinets, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then there's end pieces to go uh, blanks and blank to go on that end maybe another end um, has a hole which 2.7 mil cables conductors will go through um, so yeah so that's it's ideal for this uh, the tape that's going in there the LED strip tape I believe is 8 mil so it will fit nicely in there um, I think if you're doing RGBs or say 10 or 12 this probably wouldn't do it, you'd probably need the bigger one. Um, anyway, we'll get this cut with that engineering hacksaw and then we'll go on from there.